These are NASA's unexplained files. May 2016, NASA scientists detect a large, mysterious object beyond our solar system. It's one of NASA's jobs to help defend Earth from cosmic threats. But if this thing is what some scientists fear, there can be no defense. It could literally be the end of the world. NASA calls the big guns on this one with the Hubble Space Telescope and the Chandra X-ray Observatory. The object is so dark, it's almost undetectable. But the readings that do come back point to one terrifying conclusion. It's a black hole, but it's not like any black hole we've seen before. It's a hidden star killer just lurking out there in space, totally under the radar. And this planet destroyer could be on the move and headed in our direction. Super powerful, super scary black holes are huge, dense masses of matter that deform space-time. Normally, they are more easily detected. The gravity is exceptionally strong, so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Anything that falls in this thing is gone forever. What allows us to see black holes is that as other objects come close to black holes, they get torn apart and they form a disk around the black hole called an accretion disk. And that gives off the strong X-ray signature that normally tells us, boom, that's a black hole. Black holes are powerful beyond anything humans can imagine. And disturbingly, this one, barely detectable, is sitting in our own galaxy, slowly eating its way through nearby solar systems. What we have here is a black hole that is eating another star and generating x-rays, but it's savoring its companion star. It's slowly eating it and only giving off the weak signature that suggests there could be a lot more out there that we're not aware of. Finding this black hole that's so stealthy was kind of a fluke. Worryingly, there may be many other undiscovered black holes sitting closer to Earth than previously thought. Worse still, black holes are able to move at tremendous speeds hurtling through space at a mind-bending five million miles an hour. It's possible that there's a black hole moving toward us in space right now, and until it starts affecting you gravitationally, you won't know that it's there. If and when we are attacked by a black hole, there will be little warning. Astronomers have calculated that we would not detect its presence outside our solar system until it was just 800 days away from us. Our first warning might be when it arrives in the Oort cloud. The Oort cloud is a region of space located on the outskirts of our solar system. It's like a galactic minefield containing billions of icy comets, many of which are large enough to destroy a planet. Any bodies in the Oort cloud that were not directly eaten by the black hole would be flung off in different directions, some of them perhaps in towards the inner solar system and Earth herself. If the black hole heads this way for two terrifying years, Earth and its neighboring planets will be bombarded with giant comets. Imagine if there were a rain of comets into the inner solar system. Colliding with Earth and creating enormous damage. Indeed, mass extinctions can occur for that reason. After moving through the comet fields of the Oort cloud and Kuiper belt, the black hole will arrive at the gas giants of the outer solar system. At just three days from the Earth, it will feast upon the planet Jupiter and unleash a new horror upon us. If it actually got really close to Jupiter or even collided with Jupiter, it could start pulling matter off, giving off hard X-rays, hard gamma rays, giving off all kinds of radiation. And then that will get re-emitted in jets sometimes. Um, highly energetic and collimated jets. It looks like a lightsaber from Star Wars that's coming out of the black hole. These giant lightsaber beams or accretion jets will shoot out from the black hole millions of miles through space. If it slices past us, we'll get incinerated. Even if we escape the accretion jet, just three days after the black hole devours Jupiter, it could reach the Earth. If it got close to Earth, that could be a total catastrophe. 
At first, we will feel the effects of the black hole's gravitational pull, like the effect the moon has on the Earth, only massively greater. We can get tremendous tides, uh, tidal waves, tsunamis, basically, washing over the continents. As the black hole gets closer, the gravitational pull will increase, warping the planet itself, causing its crust to stretch and tear. There will be earthquakes, there will be volcanoes, on a scale of things we have never seen before. Finally, it will get close enough to feast on our planet. Ultimately, the atmosphere gets ripped completely off and the Earth just gets pulled apart. It could devour our entire planet, just gobble it down, and there would be no trace of Earth whatsoever. Any humans to survive this catastrophe will be pulled at astonishing speed into the black hole. If you get too close to a black hole or one gets too close to you, there's a couple of things that could happen and neither one of them are good. Either it could rip you apart or it could suck you in. As you approach the black hole, its gravitational pull will intensify massively, but also extremely locally causing your head to accelerate towards the hole quicker than your feet. You'll get stretched like spaghetti as you're falling in. Any human who miraculously survives will find themselves in the weirdest place in the universe, beyond anything we are capable of imagining. Mathematicians call it a singularity, where all logic as we know it ceases to exist, where existence itself is redefined. One reason why I think black holes are mind-bendingly strange is that they have this thing called an event horizon, which if you cross it, good luck, you're never gonna get out. And then you're gonna meet a singularity right smack at the center of this black hole. And some of us believe that the very laws of physics itself break down. The role of space and time actually gets swapped. What you call time, when you cross the event horizon, that becomes space, and then space becomes time. You would exist forever, immortal, but trapped in another dimension. But even in the event of a black hole entering our solar system, there is hope for the Earth and humanity. The destruction of our sun might paradoxically provide an escape. The sun's not going to go quietly. It's pretty big and has a lot of mass itself. In a battle between the sun and a black hole, there can only be one possible outcome. Eventually, the black hole will win and will devour the sun. But in the havoc caused by the destruction of the sun, the Earth could escape its gravitational moorings and be flung from the solar system to begin a lonely journey through the galaxy. It'd be a long, slow death for the world as we've known it. Earth without a sun, it's going to be a frozen ball stuck in space. All hope for humanity might not be lost because the core of the Earth will remain molten and warm for many billions of years yet. Although four billion years old, the molten iron core of our planet is still at a temperature of 9,800 degrees Fahrenheit, as hot as the surface of the sun. It will take around another 100 billion years to finally cool and solidify. We would have the potential to be able to dig, dig deep, and dig out cities and large caverns underground. The atmosphere would actually freeze and fall to the surface as snow. We would be able to harvest oxygen and nitrogen, snow from the surface, and bring it back down so we would have air to breathe. We could potentially become a subterranean species. No matter what, though, the number of humans would plummet dramatically. There would be no way to sustain seven or eight billion people in this fashion. NASA scientists are hoping the newly discovered black hole will pass our solar system, leaving it unscathed. If not, our only possible future is living deep underground as our world hurtles through the infinite darkness of space. Perhaps one day to enter another solar system, go into its orbit, and become the planet of an alien star.